Cancerians, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Sorry, I'm bringing you a late reading right now. Um, but um, I had a lot going on. But here I am. I'm right here. Um, the reason why you have the cards all over the place is because um, I wanted to do clarification on some things that I wanted to see clearer. Um, that's why I did did it like that. <laughs> but the first thing I see that you guys have your guards up. You guys have your guard so far up. I don't even know. Like what I'm, the pattern that I'm seeing is that a lot of you guys, after the solar eclipse, um, you're going to be getting some kind of clarity on things. Um, your mind will become clearer. So, um, people from the past will be coming back in. Um, and you'll be making decisions if you want to kick them or kick them out. Um, I know I'm going through that myself. Okay. Um, so that's why a lot of people have their guards up. Someone will betray them is coming back in. And a lot of people have their guards up ready, <laughs> ready for battle, right? Okay, so let's dive right in, Kenters. Welcome back. Um, first thing I saw was that you guys had your guard up. So I, I was thinking to myself, why was that the first card? Because you had the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is having a need to fight off people, having a need to fight off competition. I feel like you're competing with somebody else that your partner is dealing with or the person that you were dealing with um, was dealing with someone else and you felt like you had to compete against that person. Um, that person was the one that actually seduced your partner. That person seduced your partner, whoever this person is. I see that some of you are dealing with um, earth sign, earth sign, and a little bit of fire. Okay, some of you are dealing with fire sign. I also see that a lot of you are going through endings. There's a lot of endings happening and new beginnings happening. Because, um, especially for my water sign, I've been seeing like all signs, period. But mostly my water signs, I've been seeing. I did Pisces, um, about five minutes ago, and Pisces had like three tens in their reading. Three or four of them appeared, okay? Um, that's telling me that um, ending of a cycle, ending of a phase is happening for most of you guys. Water signs, okay? I, I, I do have a cancer rising, so um, <laughs> I concur with what's going on. Anyway, so you guys have your guards uh, pertaining to what your partner did in the past, okay? Um, I think that the person you were dealing with that's coming back into the picture is someone that um, cheated on you with someone else. Um, and this person could be a fire sign, earth sign, or air sign. Um, this person, either they travel for work, or they travel a lot, or they go out a lot with their friends or something, or travel for work, or go a far distance for work, or, you know go out a lot you know it could either be or now this person is in and out maybe you've known this person for three years seven years of your life um i feel like this is someone you've known from the past that's coming back in um and you have your guard up ready for battle because you know that this person has already betrayed you in the past so you're ready when they can when they're coming back your guys are going to be up all the way high up. I had to drink water. I'm sorry. <laughs> and some of you guys are with someone that drinks a lot. I think this person that's coming back in either drinks a lot. Um, or you might be the one that drink a lot. It could be coffee, tea, alcohol. Um, beverages, anything, but the, you, this person you're dealing with drinks a lot, okay, um, also, you guys might be dealing with an earth sign that has air in their chart, um, Gemini, some of you are dealing with Gemini, some of you are dealing with Taurus, some of you are dealing with Virgo or Capricorn, 
Some of y'all dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person is coming back during the fall. The autumn. I think that's what they call it. Autumn. A-U-T-U-M-N. Um, because I see, I see this person is coming from a far distance to see you. Um, but your guards are up. Um, but you do see, um, a future with this person, but you feel like they still have childish ways about them. There's something about them that you can't trust because you feel like they still intertwining with the ex or they still intertwining with that person that you found out that they were dealing with. Um, and they'll be coming back and you thinking about starting something new, starting a new journey. Uh, some of you might not accept this person back into your life, and some of you will. And some of you, but when you accept them back, you're going to be thinking about, um, is he going to do this to me again? You know, does he still talk to that girl or guy? You know, um, is he or she, you know, have they changed this time? Or are they still in the same situation? Um, and I feel like this person is spying on him, is spying on your partner, or whoever this person is. This female, it's spying on what he's, he or she is doing. Whoever he cheated with, or whoever she cheated with, with this person is spying. Okay, this person is spying to see what he's, he or she is going to do. What is your partner going to do? And I feel like your partner is going to come back and tell you he's sorry. Um, he's going to apologize to what he did. Um, some of you might accept it. Some of you might not. Okay? Um, this is a general reading. So, um, it might resonate with some. It might not resonate with all. Um, some of you are going through endings. New beginnings. There's something new coming in. Okay? Something new is coming in. And you guys are ready. Some of you are needing to take time off for yourself to go think. This person might come back with an offer and you might be like, um, I don't know. This person might text you, call you, email you, or you might actually see this person physically. Um, and you're like, I don't know, you know, and you have to take time off to go think, okay, to go think about the situation if you really want to give this person a try you guys will take time off cancer um some of you um are dealing with a water sign a water sign male or female okay um this person is very nurturing this could be a pisces scorpio cancer such as yourself uh, this could just be you but i feel like some of you are dealing with a water sign um because when i was meditating for you guys the king of cups and the queen of cups popped up Okay, um, and some of you at this time, you're having choices, you're having a lot of choices, and you're having the need to make choices, to make decisions, or which one is the better choice for you. Just be careful that you don't choose the wrong partner for you. Okay, um, be careful not to choose the wrong person for you. Um, whoever, make a great, um, make a good judgment on who your choice is or who you cho choose to be the one. Um, I, I know I need to take that into consideration right now, what I'm saying. <laughs> Have you ever given advice and you say to yourself, I need to, oh, oh my goodness, I need to hear that myself. So some of you need to make the right choices, make good judgment so that you don't regret or be heartbroken um, over this situation. Okay, guys? Let me do a few clarifications, then I will be done with you guys reading. Spirits, give me a clarification for the three of wands. You have three three, actually four threes I'm seeing right now. You have four threes. Um, so within three weeks, three days, this person will be reaching out. Or uh, within the last last days of the month, probably next week, you hear from this person soon. Some of you probably already heard from this person. Um Yep, you're reminiscing about this person. This person is going to come in and bring you an offer. Okay, because you do have the Six of Cups here. I say give me 
um, a clarification on the three of wands and this popped up okay so you're waiting for that person to some of you are actually waiting for this person to come back yep some of you are waiting for this person to come back because you feel like this is the one this was the one that got away but just be mindful that um, you make the right judgment on um, the person you're going to pick or some of you might be having a lot of dreams a lot of illusions maybe some of you are smoking weed um, or marijuana and you drift off um, because I do see that some of you are um, either doing that or um, wow you guys are very defensive right now you're protecting your your heart it's like you're teasing this person. You're not giving them your all just yet. You're teasing them to show more effort, show more. <sighs> you don't want to be the one doing all the work. You want this person to put in some work. You want them to meet you halfway, basically. And before you put your both of your feet into it, you want to make sure that this person won't do the same thing like as before. Because you guys do have the power to manifest what it is that you want. I do see that some cancers are very intuitive. And some of you guys actually are very spiritual. And some of you guys do do um, um, rituals or spell works or something spiritual. Okay? Some of you are transitioning. Some of you are getting to your higher self at this time. Um, you're realizing some old traditions. Um that were not all the way true and some new things that you've learned um maybe some of you are conflicted about this um you might just be dealing with a taurus a taurus person that's dealing with more than one person um this person i think this person is very grounded i think they're very hard working um they like good things um this person might be built it might work out this person might work out or might be stucky like stocky stuck Okay, <laughs> I hope I'm saying it right. Um, but I feel like this person is someone that is. I feel like with this person has two people, or some of you might be going to a wedding, or someone is getting married. Maybe you're getting married. I don't know. Or getting engaged too. Um, I do also see that. So that's what I have for you guys. Cancer is for August twenty fifth to the thirty first. 2017 okay um you guys don't forget to subscribe below don't forget to press the button below to subscribe don't forget to like and share with your friends and family um don't forget to comment below as well and if you would like a private reading you could contact me cindygo28 at gmail.com thank you guys so much for your support thank you for everything i appreciate you all i love you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you bye bye